Welcome to the Corpus Linguistics Workshop with Dr. Barami Kiewishai. Today we will look at how to use the keyword function in the NCONG version 4.1.0. So let's get started. First, we have to open the Corpus Manager to select the target and the reference corpus. For the target corpus, we will use the American English 2006 corpus. So double click okay, on it and then click on AME06.db and then choose. Now we have the target corpus. Next, we have to select the reference corpus. First, click on the reference corpus tab on the right. And here we will use the British English 2006 corpus as a reference corpus. So let's click on it, okay, and then select bo06.db for the whole British English 2006 corpus and select choose. Now the reference and the target corpora are ready. Now return to the main window. So here, you can see the target corpus at the top and the reference corpus at the bottom. You can also see the number of file and the corpus sizes as well. Now before we use the keyword function, let's select the statistics for our comparison. You can go to settings and select tool settings. Next, click on Keyword. Here, you can adjust the likelihood measure to text dispersion keyness for term because this statistic has been claimed to be more effective because it also looks at how the words are distributed across different texts. We can also adjust the effect size measures and others but for now, let's just use the default settings. Then click Apply. For the next step, so let's select the keyword tab on the top center like this, okay? And then click Start. Okay, so here are the results. So in the table here, you can see a lot of information. The type shows you the keywords. Mm -hmm. The rank shows the ranking. Okay. The other two column, okay, shows the frequency of this word in the target corpus and the reference corpus. Mm -hmm. The range column shows how many texts each keyword occur in, okay, in the target corpus and the reference corpus. The keyness likelihood shows you how sure it is that these are keywords. The keyness effect column shows you the degree of differences between the words in the two corpora. Looking at the keywords on the list, we can observe that they are mainly words that have different spellings in American English and British English. You can sort the result in many ways, okay? But the default setting is by the likelihood value. All right, that's it for this video. Thank you very much for watching and stay tuned for the next video. Goodbye.